Hi there, Chris here. I was talking with uh, Jeff from AV Subaru Conversions the other day, and he mentioned, and he mentioned this in the past to me, uh, that he was browsing my website and he noticed that there's tons and tons of parts on there that um, every time he goes on, he finds something new and he just doesn't know the, the sheer number of products that I offer. Um, which is expanding um, weekly, if not daily. It depends on customers send me stuff all the time to reverse engineer and make make stuff for them, and I just add it into the web shop. So um, I just thought it might be a little fun to do a rapid fire with uh, some of um, the parts I keep on hand. Um, a lot of times I'll make uh, a bunch of little things and just put them in these nice little um, containers. I've got four of them that I work out of um, quite often. Um, just real quick, rapid fire style. Uh, these are pretty popular. They uh, fit over the seat belt bolt and they just uh, cover up the bolt so it looks uh, fancy, I guess. Sell a lot of those. This is a transmission plug. There's a little hole in the top of the transmission. This snaps right in to keep dirt and stuff out. Um, looking for more interesting things. Uh, shock caps, so that it covers the, the top of the nut on, the, on your shock absorbers. Keep them uh, clean and dry and whatnot. <clears throat> These are, are really popular. Uh, this is uh, for a speedometer. Um, a lot of times the, the odometer stops working in your uh, van again, and what happens is there's a gear inside that um, separates out from the other gears so this just snaps in and holds that gear back in place um, it may work it might not work uh, it didn't work on mine um, well it did for a little while but then it stopped working again so I don't really care because uh, I'm not selling my van ever so don't care what the mileage is but you might so um, you know this is armrest caps to cover up the little uh, bolt that goes inside of there. These are pretty cool. These, there's uh, some trim that's uh, above the doors uh, when you open it, um, right at the top. Uh, a lot of times these are cracked or missing. So I have these. Uh, these guys are super popular too. This is, uh, this is one of the little clips that holds the um, instrument cluster down. A lot of times, I've only seen one van actually where it wasn't broken, the instrument cluster. Um, so you just use the original screws and pop this in between, kind of like a washer, and it holds the instrument cluster down. There is the uh, visor clips. These are oftentimes broken. I have them brown and black and whatever color you want really <clears throat> here is uh, something I came up with a while back it's a uh, sunroof per um I'm sorry not sunroof luggage rack luggage rack has five drain holes in it and um, if you don't keep those clear then you get debris and stuff in there that falls down and sits on the paint and it's gonna rust out <coughs> so I came up with these. They're super easy. They just snap right in. Nice satisfying click when it goes in. Um, I did have a uh, uh, stainless steel mesh with uh, silicone for a while, but it didn't hold up. Um, it kind of takes a beating up there with uh, the sun and stuff. So this is my solution. It works very well. I, I do want to say though, if you um, install anything up there, I, I would look um, on a frequent or routine basis to make sure that it's even these don't become clogged. Um, I did notice there was some um, uh, dirt and mildewy stuff on mine, so I just took a toothbrush and cleaned them out. Easy peasy, all set now. Next, this goes to cover up the uh, antenna hole. A lot of people are going without um, having an antenna. I'm actually going the other way now. I'm putting the antenna back in. <laughs> because it's uh, just easier for the drive-in, but uh, I got these there. This is uh, just a black version of the uh, armrest cap. So that's box number one. Okay, box number two, um, rapid fire style yet again. 
Um, these are pretty popular as well. I send a lot of these. Um, this is, uh, I think it's the, the early air-cooled models uh, in a shifter box. They, this is called a, a jounce bumper. Um, the shifter can go up against this. Um, I don't know if anybody else makes those or not, but I do. Um, this is what I came up with for my van. I removed the rear heater and you're left with two holes there. And that's like the perfect size for um, probably a pregnant mouse to get through because it's kind of large. So this is made out of uh, a squishy TPU rubber and it just snaps right in. Let's see what else. Um, these, same TPU rubber, it's squishy. This is uh, for the, there's a, a relay box in the engine compartment on Vanigans. And what you can do is you can pop, um, cut through or drill through, whatever you want to do uh, to put wires through there. And this uh, slots in and um, keeps your relay box nice and dry. The uh, AC uh, tunnel that goes across, uh, I think in tin top Vanigans, uh, uses these crazy fasteners. Um, I make these in several different colors, a couple different sizes too. Um, one of the first products I ever came up with was uh, the glove box latch. Sell a fair amount of those as well. Um, this one was fun. <laughs> Just this summer I came up with these. Uh, the rear um, vents that uh, give uh, air to the engine compartment. Um, I broke the, uh, the little plastic parts that uh, the screws thread into. <clears throat> so I made uh, new ones out of that squishy TPU rubber so they won't break again. That's kind of fun. Uh, here's another one. This is uh, um, for the instrument cluster. This one holds a LED bulb. Um, this, I, I didn't, I, I was struggling <laughs> when I was redoing this, reverse engineering this model. Um, the one from the factory is rectangular for some reason. And it's very intricate and they've got this other piece that bends over the side like this and then there's a little piece of steel that goes in there I guess to act as a reflector I don't know um, I thought it was a lot easier just to make this rounded so it reflects all the light back down and uh, these work really well I have them in my van <clears throat> um, somebody just asked me this week to make one um, that was a deeper you can see that a deeper depth um, this fits the incandescent bulbs. Um, I think it was 13 millimeters uh, deep. Um, I went LED with mine, like most people are nowadays, so this one is fine. But I can supply either one, no biggie. Um, tin top Vanigans, I think, had uh, rear speakers, those crazy things that hung from the, the ceiling in the back. Uh, a lot of times the, the mount for those is uh, broken. So I did this a bunch of years ago now. Here it is, uh, the headrests. Some of the headrests, um, mine don't, but some of them do apparently, um, have these little knobs uh, that fit on to uh, um, allow you to move the headrest up and down. So uh, I designed these. Um, these are coat rack, uh, or coat hooks, that goes uh, on the B pillar. Um, on either side so you can hang things from there. Now on to number three. Uh, this one has uh, mainly things from, um, I get in, brought in from uh, Camper Van Culture. Um, my friend Jed uh, runs that in the UK. Um, we've got uh, the little caps that cover the suspension nut bolt in the back um, for the back uh, suspension. You can see it when you look under the van. These just cover that bolt up. This is a uh, pop top. Has uh, these little forks that come down that rest on the rails uh, for the Westphalias. Uh, this just uh, slips over that so it doesn't it doesn't rattle metal on metal. I've got clock screens. I sell a fair amount of these. Um, I've got Porsche versions as well. I've got. Uh, windshield wiper caps um, and all of this plastic stuff is uh, injection molded it's not 3d printed 
um, including these two. I've got the little screw caps. If you can see those or not. In brown, and I've got gray. And what else do I have in here? This is not from Camper Van Culture, but I have the uh, triple nozzle um, winter washer fluid nozzles. These are a great upgrade. Um, oddly, I only did one in mine. <laughs> and the reason for that is because when I was developing uh, the idea for this, um, I couldn't reach the other side because my van was in storage. So last year I forgot to, uh, to swap, swap it over. So that's on my project list for this year. So on to bin number four, a box number four. I've got uh, heater box clips. They just snap in and uh, they lock in with that. Super easy to use. I've got some uh, hooks. I can do various styles or whatever you want on there. As long as it's not a trademarked logo, I have no problem doing it. The trademark logos I won't do. Um, I, I have a, a trademark and uh, five US patents. So I'm very cognizant of uh, the work that goes into getting those. Um, but anyway, this goes uh, on the headrest of a van again to hang bags or whatever you need to hang, I guess. I saw a bunch of these as well. This is uh, for the stock uh, Westphalia um, sink. Uh, there's a little piece of plastic underneath there that breaks. So I got those I got different colors on those too, if you want. Oh, this guy isn't supposed to be in this box, but this is a, a bay window um, bus handle. Um, the problem with the bay window bus handles is they're made out of uh, a squishy rubber. So they deteriorate or they get pulled out or they rip. This is a uh, solid ABS plastic. So you just uh, pop your original button in and the spring goes in the back and uh, these won't break. <laughs> okay, in the instrument cluster, you've got some blanks that look like this that uh, you can put a switch in or a LED or, or something. Um, I make these. I also make uh, two-way switch versions. And I've got uh, a square three-way rocker switch that can go in there as well. Um, I like mine blank. That's fine too. Uh, I've got a bunch of the... Uh, um, these are like washers that go underneath the window winder, window winder cranks. It's easy for me to say. Um, got those in there, and uh, the last things in here is uh, the engine bar that goes across to hold the engine in place. There's uh, little plastic things that pop in the ends, and it's a replacement for that. Oh, this is kind of a fun one. For those those rare individuals that have a, a sunroof um, vanigan, uh, apparently these are no longer available either but they are for me. Um, there's some kind of guide, I think, that goes on the top. I've got an 85 uh, Westy Weekender. It doesn't have a sunroof, it's got a pop top. So um, the, the person I made these for, so they work great. So here we go. Um, that's a quick tour of uh, the four of the bins that I have uh, at the ready. Um, I usually bring these with me to um, any of the East Coast type uh, banning and events. Um, uh, in case somebody wants something, I can, I can do that. Um, I typically don't bring a, a lot of product to sell at, um, events only because, uh, Jed, who I mentioned earlier, gave me a, a wise piece of advice years ago. And that was, uh, when you go to an event, um, to sell things, you don't want to talk to customers. You want to get the customer moving so you can get the next person in line to buy stuff and then move them along and vice versa or and so on and so on and so on um what he does is he doesn't bring anything to sell and he brings a cooler full of beer and uh, a couple of chairs and it's uh so much better of an experience for both the um the vendor <laughs> and uh the customer quote unquote as well because you just sit down and talk and you can ask questions and uh, um, I, I started adopting that. I got a couple of really nice uh, old man emo chairs. 
uh, for last season and they work out great. <clears throat> and so I just sit in front of my van, crack a beer, talk to people. Um, my van is kind of a, a rolling showcase for products that I sell anyway. So it's easy just to point, hey, there's the light or you know, what have you. So um, not sure uh, if you uh, got more than you bargained for with that, but <laughs> there you go. Um, looking forward to diving into more projects on my van and uh, getting it ready for the season coming up. Uh, I see SynchroFest started, uh, um, I'm sorry, SynchroFest posted their, uh, their dates. So I'm looking into plane tickets and rental cars uh, as we speak. So it should be a fun event. Hope to see you there.